Hey everybody, this is a WebDoc scam alert. Um, tonight what I'm sharing with you is a very um, interesting scam that came across my desk. This was somebody who filled out a data capture form on my website wanting to hire our company, Cactus Guy. And I emailed them, went back and forth with them a number of times, and as you can see, finally got to the point where they said they wanted to do business with us. And I told them the cost, and they came back and they asked me um, if they could pay a little bit more than what I was asking, and then out of the extra money that they paid me, if I would then pay a third-party vendor so they could get their assets released, their um, artwork and content for their website. Very interesting scam. So think about it. They're gonna pay me more money so I can then go pay a third party. Why can't they just pay their, their own, the money to that other company directly? The other thing was, it was interesting, they were very, very quickly wanting to get my credit card information so they could pay me with a credit card. So it set off a lot of red flags. I did a little research, and one of the first things I always recommend you do, if you've got questions about somebody that you're doing business with, you haven't met them personally, just take their email address and Google it. You can see right here, I Google this company, and the guy's name is uh, Wilson Miller. Um, this guy right here on Facebook is Miller Wilson, but this happened to turn out to be a young boy, so it definitely wasn't the person. And then I checked out this company right here, no one by that name in that company. Then I went a little bit further, because they did send over a signed contract. And very, again, aggressively wanting me to uh, give them a credit card um, or take their credit card so they could pay me and then have me pay that third party vendor. And so then I looked at the contract they sent over and I went and looked on Google Maps for their address. This is the address that they gave me as where their corporate headquarters was. Now, this was to be a large company that does produce. Um, as you can see from the, um, the map here, this looks like a little bit of a residential area. There's a house there, and there looks like a little shed there, and another house there. But this is the address of their large corporation. So I've never seen this where the image is actually blanked out like that. Quite interesting. So I then checked the name of the company and I did a search for the name of the company. And this is the name of the company and there was nothing really coming up with it, but we did find a premium farm produce. It is a company out of India, um, not really the same company. And I did some looking on their website pretty quickly, look at the, the key principles. No one has the name uh, Wilson Miller or Miller Wilson. So this is a very elaborate scam. And just to break it down for you, here's how it works. They agree to hire you for whatever amount you come up with. Then they agree or ask you if they could pay you more than what they're supposed to pay you so you can then pay a third party. Now, right there should be a big red flag. But people are falling for this because they're looking for the business. They're taking it. Oh, you know what? I'll go pay for this. It makes sense. I have to pay for the, the artwork and the graphics and the photos and things like that. But what they do, and this is just my, um, my opinion or my thought of what this would be from a scam standpoint, is once you've paid that other third party, they then go back and they dispute the credit card charge and they get the credit card money refunded. So not only have you lost whatever you were gonna get paid and hopefully you haven't done the work already, but you also are now out the money that you've paid to that third party vendor. So it's a very elaborate scam and the one thing I always want to recommend to you is when you're talking to these people and you're going back and forth with emails, take a look at how they're writing. If the writing doesn't sound right, um, if there's just something that is just um, a little unusual about it. The other thing is when you start seeing things like abundant blessings. Now, they didn't start the conversation like that, but um, then all of a sudden they, abundant blessings start popping in there. These people are very deceptive. They're very tricky. So be careful. Uh, this is uh, one of the latest scams I've seen out there. But when you get people going to your website and just randomly saying, hey, we want to do business with you, and before you even have an opportunity to talk to them, and they want you to send a contract, that should be a major red flag. Live the WebDoc with a WebDoc safety alert. Hopefully it'll help you and protect you.